Well, new this morning, groups of students in Southwest Virginia are working on projects that will literally launch into space. And their excitement is getting us excited <laughs> about the project. Allie's in studio here to tell us about these local high school students are getting experience with satellites, hands-on experience. Yes, Casey and Amy, these students in Wise County are getting to work with thin sats, and they'll get to see their work take off next November. Take a look. Three, two. One. This is what a group of Southwest Virginia students will see in person next October, and one of their projects will be on that rocket. That we're able to do that here, and we're just in high school. It's, it's just amazing to think about it. These Wise County students are spending hours of their own time after school working on thin sats. Got to make sure that all these parts go in the right way. Um, they're very delicate. If you've never heard of them, you're not alone. But these high school students have become experts on this cutting edge technology. We basically have these small modular computers that have little sensors on them that we can take outside. We can send on drones and balloons and eventually on a rocket to gather data about Earth, its atmosphere. You're getting to see the research. You can see the temperature. You can see the pressure. Big technology right here in the southwest corner of Virginia. And we're such a small place, but we're getting to do what these great places are doing. The kids are learning the technology, narrowing down what data they hope to find, then launching their thin sat. I've always been fascinated with space and technology and I've always just had to watch as other people get to do it but the ability to experience it and work on it firsthand is just phenomenal how it'll work these little satellites will hitch a ride on the Antares rocket a rocket that brings supplies to the International Space Station meanwhile the students back home will be able to track the data from the atmosphere one of the big ideas we've bounced around is looking at composition of ozone and greenhouse gases the project is sponsored by Virginia space and is an opportunity science Science teacher Jane Carter says is invaluable. To not look at current ways that they're used, but dream beyond that. Look to the future ways. Carter says for these Southwest Virginia students, it shows them literally that the stars are the limit. To let that little piece within them that has been that dream start to realize that it can come alive. And there are 63 of these thin sets launching into orbit as part of this Virginia Space Project, and nine of those teams are from Southwest Virginia. And we are really excited to see the next team make their way mm -hmm. to the launch pad. And they're that excited in the classroom. Just think about how excited they'll be when they actually get to watch their creation go into space. Yes, and they're hoping to do that. They'll go to Wallops Island to watch that rocket launch with their projects on that rocket. Amazing. Can you wait. imagine the experiences they'll be able to talk about? And they're only uh -huh. the one sophomore in yeah. high school, junior in high school. It's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, and they're taking their own time after school. I mean, that's not a class. You know, that's an after school when one of those girls is traveling to a different high school. I mean, they're really committed to this, and so it'll be neat to get to see it pay off in a big way. Next, it sure next will. Fall. Just the beginning. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. Thanks, guys.